Manoj Ladwa joins us now from ETX Capital. Uh, Manoj, tell us about the reaction to short selling, short selling bans so far. Well, it's, it's been fairly positive, but I expect it to be positive over, over the next couple of days or so. And this is a knee-jerk reaction from uh, the European authorities in imposing a short-selling ban on, uh, on, on certain European financial stocks. And what we saw in 2008 with the, the, the ban then on short-selling is that it doesn't work. It, it has a short-term positive effect, and then that selling resumes. And whether it's short-selling or people closing out their long positions, these financial institutions that are being sold off are going to continue downwards. I guess we saw a little bit of a bounce in European stocks mm -hmm. and banks as an industry group also a little bit higher this morning. So you could argue that it is working. So far, so good. Well, if, if, the, if the banks were the, the, that robust, uh, the, the, they would be a lot higher today. But, you know, they, they are in a difficult position. And uh, the, the blame is usually put on a handful of market, market speculators pushing the price of these stocks down. Uh, the, the authorities seem to forget that it's largely financial institutions, other financial institutions, hedging their counterparty risk and shorting other banks. Uh, and if they're, if they're not able to short them, then it's likely that uh, the lending in the interbank market will dry up. And then we're back to the problems of 2008. And does it tell us something that the UK hasn't banned short selling? What can we read into that? Uh, well, that uh, the UK is not too concerned about what's going on in France, and certainly at the moment it seems localised to, to, to Europe. But there, there would be a small read across into the UK, and uh, there, there does seem to be limited downside for UK banks at the moment. Lloyds and RBS, uh, pr pretty much government-owned, they're fairly robust and they're restructuring at the moment. And HSBC, Standard Chartered, uh, big exposure to the, to the Far East, so they're, they're, they're fairly robust in their, in their structure, and they, they seem to be forming a base at current levels. I mean, we've seen a bit of a sell-off in European banks, haven't we, mm -hmm. Manoj? I mean, like with everything else, pretty much across the markets, a great deal of volatility. Mm -hmm. But what are you hearing on the trading floor there? Are they good value right now, or is there just too much uncertainty? Would, people, would your clients rather just stay away? Well, our clients are, are certainly staying away from the European banks. They see value in the UK banks, but European banks uh, r remain fairly volatile. And just because they've come down sharply in price doesn't mean they're cheap and that, that they'll re rebound quite strongly. It's likely that they'll continue trading sideways, if anything, for a little while before they do continue back up again. And that could be uh, a long while away uh, in the future. Manage Ladwa, ETX Capital. Thanks very much.